Also know that it doesn't have to be New Year's for you to start a new goal. You can literally start a new goal right here, right now. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Caitlin and I lost 50 pounds intermittent fasting. And in today's video, I just wanted to talk to you about why you're not reaching those weight loss New Year's resolution goals that you set for yourself. It's the middle of the month. I'm sure you're losing motivation because you're not seeing results. So let Let's talk about how we can change that around and reach our goals. So don't feel bad at all. A lot of people do this, but you probably bit off more than you can chew. You need to have more smaller bite-sized goals that you can actually reach. For example, if your New Year's resolution was to start drinking a gallon of water a day and you drink no water before, only juice and soda, that's just not attainable. You want to start with smaller little bite-sized goals. So let's say the first week you start drinking just one bottle of water a day. That's it. And then once that becomes easy, once you've built that habit of drinking your water every single day, you can build that up to drinking a bigger bottle of water every single day. And start Start building on that habit but you want to have a good foundation to start with not just throwing in these random habits and then losing them because you didn't build a good foundation another example if you want to start cooking healthy meals at home start looking on Pinterest for healthy meals that you actually would like to eat that you can see yourself making and stick with one of those start making it one to two times a week and perfect that and then move on to making something else but you're not going to start by going out getting all these groceries i'm going to cook a different meal each and every day and it's going to be pinterest perfect no that's not how you build habits you want to start small and work your way up because that's the only way that you're going to be able to stick with what you're doing because you're building a whole different lifestyle for yourself you're going from doing something that you don't normally do to implementing a new habit so you actually want it to stick so make sure that you're taking smaller little bite-sized goals so for those of you who don't know I was in the Air Force and while I was in we would have to set smart goals specific measurable achievable or attainable um, realistic and timely goals those are the best kind of goals that you can set for yourself I don't know if you've ever set a goal like that but that really sets you up for success so let's go over it you want your goals to be specific so don't just start by saying I want to lose weight your mind doesn't even know how to comprehend where to even start with that goal so how much weight do you want to lose when do you want to lose the weight by for example I want to lose 20 pounds in four months this is just an example I'm using I don't actually want to lose 20 pounds <laughs> next up we want our goals to be measurable how can we track these goals how can we keep ourselves accountable let's say to measure your goal you weigh yourself once a week to track your progress but I don't want you putting too much worth into the scale because it's not that serious your weight can fluctuate for so many different reasons so if that's something that you do then find something that's actually going to work for you so let's say that's trying on your clothes twice a twice <laughs> let's say <laughs> Let's say that's trying on your clothes twice a month to see how they're fitting and go from there. But find a way that's going to work for you to measure your goal. And for the A, you want your goals to actually be achievable. Don't set unrealistic goals like I'm going to lose 20 pounds in two weeks because I'm going on vacation. That's just not achievable. You want to actually set achievable goals so your mind can be like, oh, I can actually do that. Instead of getting discouraged setting this big goal that you're just overwhelmed with and ultimately not going to reach so can you do 20 pounds in four months absolutely you can next up we want our goal to actually fit into the bigger picture of our life is our goal relevant let's say your overall goal is to live a healthier lifestyle and feel more confident in your clothes is losing 20 pounds in four months going to help you to live a healthier lifestyle and feel more confident in your clothes yes so therefore our goal is relevant and we're good to go and then lastly we want our goal to actually have a time frame when do we want to complete our goal by so for us it's four months and you want it to be something realistic like I said don't make it be 20 pounds in two weeks or anything like that you want it to be something where your mind is like okay in four months I do plan to 
reach my goal by then. And if you don't, that is also okay. As long as you're working towards reaching your goal, that's the whole point of having a goal. So if you don't reach it, don't sweat it. As long as you're trying your best to reach your goal, then you're fine. But I hope that this video helped you, gave you some tips on how to better reach those New Year's resolutions. If it did, be sure to share it with a friend, share it with a family member. I'm sure that they would really appreciate it. And also know that it doesn't have to be New Year's for you to start a new goal. You can literally start a new goal right here, right now. It doesn't have to be Monday. You can start a new goal today and change your life. So you're so capable of it. Just do it, just start. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like down below. It really helps me out. And if you made it this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you here. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.